Sleep EXP Gauge? What is it? And why haven't you seen it before? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sleep video, it's Bro Vinny here. Today we are talking about this bar here, which is officially called the Sleep EXP Pokemon Gauge, if we translate the Japanese. And I don't know why it's in Japanese, this is an English app. It appears for all of our players, they just forgot to translate this part of the game. Which, by the way, is also apparently known as Pokemon Max Level Bonus. What this is, is when your Pokemon reach maximum level, any excess EXP earned from sleeping, because your Pokemon cannot level up, gets added to this bar. And when you reach 500 EXP, so in other words you reach the maximum, you will get Handy Candy. But how does it work exactly? Does it work for all level caps below level 50, or is it only level 50? Do natures and subskills affect its outcome? Well, now we know the answers to these questions. Thanks to several members of my Discord who have Pokemon that have reached the level cap. What Lorabella has noticed is that at any level caps below level 50, you won't get this excess EXP being added to the sleep EXP gauge. In other words, you won't see this until you have Pokemon that reach level 50. And you can only have uh, Pokemon up to level 50 from rank 45 onwards. If that's not the case, any excess EXP that's earned will not get added to the gauge and is completely lost. So if you're in any of these earlier ranks before rank 45, try to stay clear of the level cap, which are listed here. And thanks to the efforts of Igor, we now know that nature and subskills affect the outcome of the sleep EXP gauge, just like it normally would on any sleep EXP. So in this series of images, Igor was running two max level Pokemon named Hope and Venusaur. Before the sleep session, Igor was at 400 EXP remaining to the next handy candy. The EXP stats on the Venusaur is pretty much neutral, so 100% sleep should give 100 EXP. Except that the Flareon has sleep EXP bonus. So if you have a Pokemon with sleep EXP bonus, it does provide more EXP to the EXP gauge. And I'll prove that to you in a moment. The other Pokemon that's at max level is this Sylveon, but this Sylveon has EXP gain down. Now, EXP gained down for nature is 18% reduction in the EXP gained. So in other words, what we're expecting Igor to get in total after a 100% sleep session, for the Venusaur, it would be 100 EXP times 1.14 because of the sleep EXP bonus from Flareon. And for the Sylveon, it would be 100 times 0.8 2 because of the EXP down nature times 1.14 because of the sleep EXP bonus from Flareon, which gives us a grand total of 207 EXP, which is exactly how much EXP Igor got as his remaining EXP was 193. So the good news for anyone who have EXP up nature Pokemon or the Sleep EXP Bonus subskill, and in this Flareon's case, both, is that you guys are going to be getting these candies a little quicker than the rest of us. So while previously we thought that EXP Up Nature and EXP Up subskill were no good for Pokemon that are at, ma at max level, because they don't actually do anything, now there's a purpose because you can farm these handy candies a little quicker. Now my gut feeling is that this information may not be that necessary for most of us who are quite far away from level 50 still, and by the time we reach it, the level cap is probably increased. But for those of you who do plan to reach max level, level 50 currently, hopefully this video helped you plan ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 